I look like Mufasa. This is Bill, one, two, three, four, five. I'm with Stephanie. What do you say, Stephanie? I said, I hope I don't look like Mufasa right now after the stampede. <laughs> anyway, Stephanie is from Henderson, Nevada, and she works in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. grew up in Clark County her whole life. Mm -hmm. Born and raised. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't like Reno. Sorry. I love Reno. I just, I don't do cold. I'll die. I'll lay down in the snow and die. So you don't ski? No. I ski. I know, because you're much more skilled and much more talented than I am. Oh, that's not true. So anyway, she likes Las Vegas. She likes Nevada. We all like Nevada. Yeah, Nevada's my home. Home means Nevada? I was just about to, I was trying to remember how to say that correctly. It's like, home means Nevada to me. Yeah. She wanted to sing, too. <laughs> no, I want to, but there's a lot of things I want to do in life that just aren't going to happen. And we're having fun. So our lighting is bad, but we're practicing and setting up here. And we have a handful of people here. It's good people. Good people. Good, hey, good patriots. That's all that matters. So what are you doing for the 4th of July? Um, I am going to be hanging out in my neighborhood. I live over in Henderson, and the neighborhood I live in happens to be very, um, I call it Hendertucky, where, like, they'll do the big fireworks and everything like that. So from my patio, I get to see quite an amazing, spectacular performance all put on by my, my neighbors. Thank you. Now you have some kids. How old are they? Um, 16, 13, and 9. Uh, three. They grow up fast. Enjoy them. So fast. I wish I had had more kids. I wish more women knew that no job will fulfill you like having kids will. I love what Stephanie just said. I wish I had more kids because I we had three. Yeah. And I, I wish you had more kids because the most important thing that my wife and I did was have kids. It's the best thing because it's the only thing that really matters at the end of the day. I mean, as you're running for office, it matters. But it really does. It's the only like real legacy you're ever going to leave. And all these women are getting lied to by Cosmo. And the women writing those lies have a husband and children. And you're eating up the sex in the city lifestyle. And then you're 45, childless and single and popping pills because you're sad. So my wife was 22 when she got married. Good job. I wish I had... I met my husband when I was 19. I wish we just gotten married then, started cranking out some kids. Why we How old were you when you got married? 20, almost right before I turned 24. That's not bad, no. five years? Yeah, it, it was, but, uh, well, because I met him right before I turned 20, so it was four years, but I wish I had just gotten married sooner. Is he from Las Vegas? Um, He moved here when he was 13. Yeah. He, <laughs> the Westerner, yeah. they got to be. Yeah. About that. yeah, so he originally born in California, but he grew up in Utah, in, in um, Bountiful, Utah, right outside San, uh, Salt Lake City. Right, so he like he got, he's into the cold. He's a good Mormon boy. He loves the cold. I think his great grandfather on like great great grandfather was a Sasquatch. So they're built differently than I am. I'm built for the desert. So are you LDS? No, but he was. Or, he's not now. No. He, we've been together so long. He goes to my church with me now. What church do you go to? I am a Christian scientist. You're kidding me. Christian science? That's kind of neat. So my, not Scientology. I know, a, I know a Christian scientist. Is okay. So just like, hey, everything Jesus did, you can do too. Just remember that. My grandmother is a Christian scientist. Oh, my God. She's probably a lovely woman, I hope. So I used to go to Sunday school with her. Oh, I love that. I, I've known like two. I've met two people my whole life who even know what I'm talking about. Don't think I'm talking about Tom Cruise. Mary Baker, with Keys of the Scriptures, I've been to the Mother Church, and I'm not a Christian science, but I've been to the Mother Church I've attended. I studied it. I, I think it's a great religion because it's about mind over matter. Mm -hmm. It is, and there's a big focus. I mean, some people are just like, oh, you don't go to doctors, but it's not really what it's about. It's more about the dis-ease of the, of the mind can cause disease in the body, and there's such just a big focus on on everything Jesus did while he was here and about how we just need to remember that we're capable of that. And it just gives me hope. We're all Christians. What she said is really important, though, because a lot of studies are coming out after COVID. Mm -hmm. And it just has come out that the people who got sick from COVID, and I, I could send over the information, they, they, they put a lot of it on the stress that was imposed on them and the mental anguish mm -hmm. from being locked down and the things that happened to people. Yeah. It's true. I mean, my church, they do testimonies like on every Wednesday and things like that. But you hear about it all the time about you just there's been cases where people get a wrong diagnosis and they're told, oh, you have this invasive cancer. You have six months to live. And then they, they die and then find out later that was the wrong diagnosis. So we got to go. We had a good conversation here. Yeah, we're talking about <laughs> who knows about Mary Baker Eddy. And key to the scriptures of Mary Baker Eddy. I've read everything. <laughs> I studied it. I love it. Because I believe it's a positive mental attitude. It really is. And it's one of those books, like, so she's like, I keep on audiobook because I can, like, do chores while I get things done. But 
you just you listen to it or you just feel connected and you're like, it all makes sense we are it all, yeah it just helps. well i've been uh, as a city council and vice mayor for the war i used to go to a lot of different churches lds i've attended all the different churches i grew up around calvary chapel okay. but i i really like the christian science school church and the t- teachings the co- positive attitude and my grand what my grandmother taught me a lot oh, i love that I'm, i hope she i hope you have happy memories because i honestly it's just the teachings that that I've learned from that church has got me through not just like physical pain, like yes, I had natural childbirths and things like that, but just like the emotional anguish that life. Have you have you been in Christian Science your whole life? My whole life. My, actually, my grandfather um, was raised in it, so then my mom was raised in it, and I've gone to the same church my whole life. A lot of people don't realize it though. In the West, uh, we have a lot of Mormons influence because of, they came out from Brigham Young, sent them out Sacramento, uh, Modesto. A lot of time I spent in Central Valley as young. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's why you find a lot of Mormons, so even Las Vegas. The second highest populated, and this things have changed with Idaho and the moves of COVID. I don't know now, but we were the uh, second highest populated LDS state. And LDS are like the best people to have as neighbors. I mean, oh, they're a great family. You know, families are important. Children and families. They're all preppers. So we got to go. They say we got to go. We're going to see how we sound. Great.